my heart is palpitating. I'm doing. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a baby girl. I deserve some life. I'm supposed to get paid for existing. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Percy. If you're new here and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so this is not the last time you've seen this beautiful face. Also, turn on your post notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup and answering you guys' these nosy ass questions of my life. Okay, you guys asked for a live update. I'm gonna give you a live update, okay? So I'm going to beat my face and I'm also gonna be answering your question and let's get into the video. Okay, so I have my handy dandy compact mirror. This is not so compact, but like I have my mirror in here. And then I was like, Are you not scared of this thing that is on your mirror? Because why is it opening and closing its eye? <laughs> but even that works with the value of shadow there. Thank you for completing it for me. Um, first off, I'm going to start by priming my face with the Benefit Professional Primer. And the first question here says, let me read. Where do you school in Canada? I, this person must be new here. Are you new here? I attend University of Calgary. I major in psychology. The amount of time that I get this question is amazing. And you know the crazy thing? Since I've been, since I've been talking about University of Calgary, yeah, everybody, everybody that comes to me to help them with the application, and I'm like, oh, what school do you want to apply to? The University of Calgary. Personally, if I was given the choice, I wasn't. My parents made the choice and I just had to go with it. If I was given the choice to choose a province i would not choose calgary i would choose um toronto but yeah god i'm sure god sent me here for reasons so uh someone said please can you talk to more can you talk to us more about things to help our life i don't know what you mean by that by things to help your life i can't help your life <laughs> i i'm still working on myself i'm still a work in progress so i don't know what you mean by help your life but if you mean like the sit down videos that i do yes i can make more of those someone said um you look really nice thank you another person asked how is school life uh schooling university of calgary well i only went to school for like a month okay so i've been in school for i'm, I'm done with my second year currently okay so um I just did my brows. I'm just going to clean that up now. I was doing my brows in the other video. The maintenance video. If you've not gone to see it yet. I'm going to put it in the eye card. So you can watch it. I was doing my brows there. And for some reason I overdid them. And they're not how I like them to look. I usually like my brows to look micro But now they don't even look like sisters. Okay they look like worst of enemies. But it's okay. I'm going to make it work. Um someone said how is school life um school life generally i can't really say much on how school life is now i've by the way i just finished my second year this is at the point of filming what is it this is april april 21st and i'm done with my second year in school uh classes are done i just have my exams to take i have two more exams and i'm done with second year um I only went to school for a month, February to March, and it was just there. I didn't make any friends, as you guys, like in my classes, as you guys saw. Like, I've been only moving with one person in that school, and that's Uluwa Nanaya. That's how you run it, by the way. So, um, yeah, school life is okay. It's basic. Everyone, everyone is just minding their business, yeah? So, I, I'm not one to approach people to make friends. The way Nanai and I even met is by divine intervention because honestly I'm not one to meet people. I'm not I'm not one to do that. <laughs> so school life is just there, it's basic. I maybe I'm I decided to go for a school event by the end of the month. I'm going to vlog it. So maybe 
I will use that as an opportunity to network and meet people. I don't know if I'm going to change my mind, honestly. <laughs> I don't go anymore, but maybe that would be an opportunity to actually like meet people. But knowing me, I'll just be in one place sitting down and looking pretty. Because I'm not going to make friends, honestly. So yeah, school life is just basic. But well, you guys are going to watch the Mela Night um the Mela Night content because I'm going to put it out. I'm going to vlog. I already have my outfit, I have my hair, I have my makeup, everything is ready, okay? Everything is ready. Everything is ready. Okay, now that brows are done, I'm just gonna move on to my foundation. Someone asked How is Canada going? Is the cost of living okay for you? No, send me money please. Because you guys, when you start to see ads on my channel, just be watching them. Canada's cost of living is mad. It's mental. Because I'm working half of my wage, salary, whatever you want to call it, is going to freaking rent. I don't like that. I don't want that. That's not the life I want to live. Because the cost of living here is crazy honestly especially if you pay rent if you don't pay rent you can manage you can work around it but if you do pay rent canada's cost of living is crazy like very very crazy someone asks how old are you pussy it's literally my description box i don't hide my age i am 19 not even going on 20 i don't want to say going on 20 because i'm not going on 20 anytime soon so yeah, I'm a 19 year old babe. Someone asked. Someone said, Hi Pussy, I'm a subscriber on your channel. Thank you. Just wanted to ask about how your stay in Canada has been. So far, basic. Nothing really interesting has happened. Nothing really out of the blues. It's just normal. You, I want to say it's over high, but then people are going to come at me and say, Oh, come to Nigeria, then come down just over high. Like, there's nothing here, <laughs> there's nothing. You know, the Saturday O and Bears that we do in Nigeria, even though I don't go for O and Bears, but like, there's nothing like that here. Everybody's living their life, everybody's on their own. My friend in UK, I see her like bowling hard, like bowling heavy in UK. Like, nothing like that. Everybody is minding their business of working jobs to pay their bills okay someone said what was the hardest part of your relocation um the fact that hold on the hardest part of my relocation was the fact that i had to do things myself now now i've always been an independent girl from like when i was very little like i've always loved doing my things myself i really don't like relying on people because people know how to disappoint so i really don't like relying on people but doing things myself like realizing that if i don't wash the plates in the sink no one's gonna wash it <laughs> if i don't do my laundry no one's gonna back home i would just tell my sister hey it's your turn to do laundry we used to have turns yeah i will do each other's laundry so i just tell her yeah babes it's your turn to do laundry and she would handle it but I think I won't call it hard, but yeah, that has been one of the hardest part. And then the time difference. So I barely get to keep up with my friends. I barely I, I keep up with my family very well, but I barely get to keep up with my friends. And I really love my friends. I don't have much, but the ones I have in Nigeria, I really love them and cherish them, you know. And the time difference on being unable to call them just being unable to see them all my friends and i we literally lived in the same area so it was like what 100 naira bike to each other's house <laughs> from one place to one place 100 naira bike one place to one place and 100 naira bike so all of us live in the same area and being unable to see them everybody is where they are now the ones that are in uk and uk the ones that are in america in america everybody is doing their thing and i'm so happy for all of us but being like unable to see my friends for weeks to months on end has been the hardest part of my relocation and being unable to you know just have time to call them when i got here and i was very much jobless and i hadn't gotten a job 
it was very easy to keep up yeah i could be awake by three but now like i have to be awake by this time and because of the transit you have to wake up like two hours earlier just so you can get the transit it's just been crazy and i think that has been the hardest part of my relocation being um transitioning from talking to my friends like 70 times in a week to two times in three weeks it's crazy very much crazy and that has been very hard i really miss my friends and if any of you are watching this i really miss you guys i really miss you and i love each and every one of you okay i love you guys so much so basically i just um conceal the high points of my face i'm not even a makeup person why am i teaching you how to do makeup i barely know how to do my own makeup someone asked um how are you doing mentally physically and every other early keep going love then sends a heart um mentally i have had a lot of mental breakdowns since i got to this country i have found myself crying for the barest reasons and there's no one to talk to most of the time like nanaya is there for me some of the times and most of the time i just pray it out when i do have those crazy ass mental breakdowns but yeah um mentally currently as at today <laughs> I'm fine mentally as I today and it's because um you guys keep me going you guys show love on my videos show love um send me sweet messages on Instagram and um that's what keeps me going mentally okay um physically guys I need to work out because I've discovered that whenever I go see my aunt if I'm going up the stairs and coming back down um my aunt is palpitating I'm doing <laughs> so um physically i need to work out okay i need to work out you guys pray for motivation for me to hit the gym as often as i want to okay every other alley financially so i've already said this like 70 times in this video send me money like i, I want money <laughs> send me money financially <laughs> help my ministry Collect my Nigerian bank account, collect my Interac, send me money. Someone asked, how are you adapting to the new environment? I think I already said that. The weather is cold. Today is, by April, it's supposed to be spring, bro. But I went out yesterday, I was going to work, and the, e the, the snow, I took a video of it. I'm just going to insert that here. <laughs> Guys, that's how deep it was. Like, I was entering the snow, and my dumbass wore Air Forces. My dumbass wore air forces inside the snow, so uh, my air forces are spoiled. Again, send money for a new pair. <laughs> um, yeah, I wore air forces, and you know, the snow soaked my shoe, soaked my socks. I had wet feet, it was disgusting, guys. I didn't like that. Canada's um, Canada's weather is Calgary's weather is very, very much annoying. Tell us more about your experience with the Canadian education system. Okay, so there's really not much to be said when it comes to like the system. Like, I want to say it's not so different from Nigeria's education system, but your, your teachers want you to pass here. Like, your teachers are here for you. Like, that's one thing i've noticed like you could email them they would reply they are here for you um i really like the system because like the learning the way of learning is easy i i was shocked when my aunt like her kids teacher sent her the review of their week's work and <laughs> in the review she was like this week we worked hard we studied the letter b and in my head i was like your kids age i was doing dictation in class i was doing handwriting and i'm talking about children that are six years old six eight six and eight studying the letter <laughs> studying the letter b now these children know how to read obviously because they have nigerian parents but i'm just saying their system is so easy like their study system is so easy they actually want you to pass okay so that's that's basically just it's for me here. Yeah. Someone asked how has work been stressful. I have to be on my feet for eight hours. Look at me. I'm a baby girl. I deserve some life. I'm supposed to get paid 
for existing but i'm being on my feet for eight hours guys i don't want to do that anymore that's not my life that's not who i am that's not who god called me to be so please um work is stressful work is very much stressful okay that's how work has been very much stressful because i this baby girl has to stand for someone who doesn't even have stamina this baby girl has to stand for hours on end on end <laughs> um have you joined any workforce in church over there three actually so i joined the choir i joined the um events team and i also joined the announcements team so if <laughs> if you're looking for a church girl it's actually me because um i grew up in the church i'm sorry <laughs> so ask how do you get to be so confident did you ever struggle with insecurities in all sincerity yes i did struggle with insecurities growing up i was insecure about myself for i i was very confident growing up like i was the itk girl in secondary school the one everybody hated that was me because of my overconfidence but i was humbled in secondary school i had um i know this is not a blush brush but i'm gonna be using it for blush i had a very unappealing experience with the boys in my class and you guys are lucky that i'm a christian now so i'm forgiving you for that but these boys really put me in my freaking place like they put me in my place and killed my confidence this was when i was in jesus too so these boys killed my confidence and i didn't get that confidence back till i was in ss1 and that's just another story entirely like another story entirely like but yeah i got my confidence back and yes i have struggled with insecurities currently my insecurities i tend to overlook them because i know it doesn't really count like no one no one is really looking as much as you think they are no one is really looking and i wanted to make an entire video on this so if you want to see that um let me know and i will make it but no one really cares <laughs> when i started drumming that thing into my head and i decided that oh i was going to determine my own happiness and i'm not going to let anybody's opinion matter in my life that's when my confidence level started increasing somebody asked how does it feel away uh, what am i reading god my brain i'm coming let i'm going to contour my face now and i'll get back i i don't think i added this but i don't actually contour my face i just reverse contour because um thank god for lines on my face <laughs> we thank god for hyper pigmentation so we do have the original god given contour <laughs> so i use reverse contour i don't so because i don't have um a contour palette yet so i'm just gonna reverse contour my nose also okay so someone asks how does it feel being away from your nigerian friends and how would you describe the people you've met there <sighs> the people i've met are awesome i met nanaya i met some of nanaya's friends which have also become my friends and um they are awesome i i've already said how i feel about my nigerian friends i miss them a lot i miss julieta i miss peace i miss munachi i miss ogale i miss my family <laughs> but yeah we're talking to my friends now but um yeah the people that met here they're nice and but i genuinely miss my nigerian friends a lot <laughs> so okay so i just like my lips and someone asked uh are you in a lip so i don't know how this lip looks on camera but in person it looks really good and i really really like it so um i'm just gonna answer the last question which reads i already said um are you in a relationship bro i've been here for like what three and a half months four months by the end of the month this coming month so my brother do you expect me to be in a relationship do i look like i'm interested in being in a relationship do i look do i look like i want people to want me to be in a relationship i'm just kidding no i don't want a relationship that's why i'm not in a relationship yet okay and um 
I genuinely just don't want a relationship because so I'm gonna fix oh no fix the right girl I'm gonna fix my lashes and come back Friday so I just got done with my makeup I just put my lashes on and this is the first time I'm putting on dramatic lashes I got these from Amazon I got this like 20 pack this is are the ones I'm wearing currently I'm bro y'all ain't tell me I'm I was never a fan of dramatic lashes Y'all didn't tell me it was gonna look this good. I mean, there's barely anything I don't eat, but y'all didn't tell me it was gonna pop this hard. Oh, brother, get ready to get tired of me with dramatic lashes. Just get ready to get tired of me. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. I know it was a little bit all over the place. A girl who has never done chit chat, get ready with me before. So, if you did enjoy, please give it a like and comment what other videos you would like to see in the comment section below. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys and thank you for watching.